Hi, we're at the West Country Quilt and Textile Show and we're being joined by lots of special guests throughout the show. And today we're joined by Kate Finlay. She's from the Thames Valley Quilters. Uh, she's a textile artist, teacher and in her own words, she's a very creative person. <laughs> Hi Kate, thank you so Hello. much for coming to talk to us today. Have you had a chance to walk around the show? No, not yet. I just went straight for the coffee, actually. So. <laughs> you <laughs> found I the coffee. Be. Brilliant. <laughs> um, tell us how you got into, into this industry then. Well, actually, it goes back a long way. I did actually do a textiles degree many, many years ago uh, and worked in the carpet industry specifically for a bit uh, and then retrained to be a teacher when I got made redundant. So I've been a teacher for uh, much of my working career. So. And what is your particular passion? What do you enjoy most? Um, making my own designs, my own work. Um, it's taken me in two directions. So uh, back in 2012, I showed the Hadron Collider series that people would uh, have seen here at the show. Uh, and then also more recently, it's taken me much more into fabric collages of uh, more wildlife based uh, subject matter. The Hadron Collider is, is not your usual subject really for, I imagine anybody, you think, oh, what a great inspiration. I really want to reflect that in some artwork. So why that particular project? It's a funny one, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's not a, a natural thing you think of with quilting, is it? <laughs> but no, it was just one of those things. I, I just saw an article about it in the newspaper and immediately thought, this is it. That is what what I want to do and when I googled it you know found lots and lots of images and I just knew that was going to be my life's work more or less was well, four years work actually uh, just working on that theme and you know developing ideas from that so yeah it was it was a, a really big passion actually for a long time and for anybody who haven't ha haven't seen the the finished product what what does it actually look like uh, well basically I've got a whole series of work some of them are smaller pieces so um, you know, sort of that sort of 60 centimeters square through to big two meter quilt so a whole range but when I started it although I said yes yeah, textiles it wasn't necessarily going to be quilts it was just things using textiles and maybe other things and wire and all sorts of bits and pieces but then as I went on I realized I wanted to do the big art quilts because they have such impact really dramatic so it was really nice to, to do some big art quilts but it's time yeah know. yeah yeah <laughs> I, I read that you're um, you're very experimental when it comes to um, technical stuff so you're a bit of a techie aren't you and yes. you like bringing in new technology all the time give us a few examples right. of, of how you've incorporated right. new technology well that again grew out of the Hadron Collider series um, although it was a very long-term interest using fiber optics and that really went back you know almost before I did that series but wanting to use it but you know it's the internet it makes things so much easier to find out about how to do these things and buy the materials so when I started experimenting you know I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go but I literally started using fibre optics on the surface of quilts uh, and lighting them up from the back uh, and it's been developing um, and what's really great is I've got involved with a sort of techie group in Reading uh, and they're brilliant because they can solve all my technical problems <laughs> so or where are things I don't quite know how to how to do you know I've uh, linked up with somebody that does 3d printing for example so he's now able to print me little widgets to hold the fibers in place it's brilliant so it's really progressing very well uh, and quite exciting. I'm, you know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm on the verge of a big breakthrough with the whole fibre optic <laughs> thing. So, yeah. It can't be a very easy material to work with. I, no. I'm thinking it's not everybody's cup of tea, kind of sewing in fi fibre optics no, into you're your right. quilt. It, it's, it's not actually. It's, it's had a lot of technical challenges. It's taken me a long time to actually uh, make it into anything viable. But uh, you know, I just think it's got a lot of potential, and there's a lot of interest, you know, sort of nationally in the whole thing about combining the sort of arty ideas, you know with technical ideas and you know because I think that's really the route forward so it's uh, it, there's there's a lot of help out there if you if you know where to access it you've brought some beautiful examples of your work today Kate and, and really traditional landscapes absolutely beautiful how do you go about I mean what is this what what um, what landscape is this is it okay, somewhere so that, that I would know it might be the Ridgeway so, the Ridge? yeah, oh, right, it's there the Ridgeway so yes uh, basically um, I, the summer has been really very good hasn't it so I was quite quite keen to, to get out walking um, and uh, the Ridgeway is only about half an hour from where I live. So yeah, I went out uh, quite a few times and took lots of photos and, and did some sketching out there. Uh, and then was just really interested in, in making uh, fabric pictures. So the way I do it is I bond the web. So you use bond the web on the back of the fabric uh, and then just build it up as a collage and you really create the whole picture before I stitch. Uh, so the stitching is, is almost the last thing to do on it. Absolutely beautiful. 
Um, you have a book, and I love these little kits as well. How, how do they work? Yeah, the kits came out of, um, that was to do with uh, Contemporary Quilt, um, and they have a challenge each year where you have to make some small uh, pictures, um, <clears throat> which are called journal quilts. And when I did them in that year, the format was just a square, uh, and it was your own choice. So I thought, you know, I had done quite a lot of Hadron Collider stuff, I thought, time for a change. <laughs> so let's have something completely different. It can only take so much, can't Absolutely. You? <laughs> so <clears throat> I went for birds. Uh, and so I did a whole series of birds that year, and, and you know, really got into it and thought, you know what, I could, I could do a bit more with this. Uh, so that's what then sparked off both the kits and the book. Um, so that really came about by, you know, having all of the images actually um, in the in the book um, just because it was just a fun project to do quite honestly it's just something that I wanted to uh, to actually achieve you know because learning actually how to do a self-published book is quite an interesting project uh, so yes from there I then developed one or two of them actually into kits as well so it's been uh, quite a nice ongoing thing and actually anybody uh, might recognize uh, Linda Seward uh, who's also a Thames Valley member so I teamed up with her and she's actually an ornithologist so she you very kindly did all the writing for me. <laughs> brilliant. brilliant. Oh, that's a great collaboration. Um, it, it sounds like you you have a lot of fun in your in your work. Um, you've just won a bid. Congratulations. Okay. Tell us tell us more about this. This is the yeah. serious work side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting one. That that is a, as a result of this uh, techie collaboration, and they had what was called an art data day. Uh, and I've never done a piece of work which actually uses data, but uh, I went along to this thing, and there were artists there and techie guys. So they were showing us all about you know things like three D printers and um, collecting data, particularly. For from things like transport, so Reading Transport and stuff like that. Uh, and then the, during the course of the day, we had to um, team up with these people and then think about what we could do and then put forward a pitch uh, for an idea. And my pitch then won, uh, which was lovely, but of course then I have to make the piece. You've got to make it, yeah. <laughs> which was like, hmm, okay. Uh, so it's quite good though, because I've had a deadline which is coming up and it's really forced me to solve some of those problems with using not only data in the artwork, but the fibers. So I'm using the fiber optics uh, and it will be lit up according to the data of Reading Rivers. So oh, it's wow. the data flow to do with the rivers and the flow through Reading. So when when, and where will we see your, your final piece of work? Hopefully that will be up um, in about a month, uh, three weeks to a month's time, somewhere in Reading, but I don't yet know where. So all I know is it's going to go on display somewhere. So uh, yes, it'll be You need be to design another uh, a quilt or piece of uh, technology to track down where it's going to be, yeah. some more data. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm asking everybody at the show that we interview uh, for a hot tip for 2017 or a, a time-saving tip uh, that you'd like to pass on to other people so I'm putting you on the spot now uh -huh. Kate can you think of anything that you would like to to share with uh, with our viewers oh I don't know I must admit I'm I'm a, a real fan of using Bonder web actually in my work and I, I get through rolls of the stuff actually um, whether it's a good idea I don't know but I do find that you know if you want to do this sort of work you know it is is just the way to go you know if you put Bonder web on the back then you know you can iron things it holds it all in place you know and it just makes the stitching so much easier so that, that is uh, the one thing that I find is, is the most useful to me in my, in my textile work without a it's doubt. It's always on your Christmas present list. It is. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, it's lovely talking to you. Thank you very much for sharing your artwork lovely today to and enjoy too. the rest of your show. Thank Kate you. Finlay and uh, we'll have another live demonstration from Valerie Nesbitt at 12 o'clock and she'll be showing you how to make a festive table runner.